Uh, let's, I want to talk about big tech and big media. The man to talk to that subject is Bob Wright. He's a former chair and CEO of NBC Universal. This man knows what he's talking about in this. You, do, you really do know what you're talking about in this area, Bob. Even though you failed to hire me all those years ago, you really do know what you're talking about. Now, look, it seems to me that big tech, they're the ones with the money. They're the ones who are buying big media. Is that, that's pretty much what's happening, isn't it? Well, big media itself is getting bigger because Disney is going to be a substantially larger company after the acquisition of the, of the 20th Century Fox assets. And a lot of that sports, and, and they're protecting ESPN. I think it's very shrewd. Uh, there won't be any competitors to ESPN, in my view, for the next 20 years as a result of this. Uh, and they're taking down tremendous amount of, of uh, library material. Uh, which will all be uh, available on their various efforts to stream, whether it's through Hulu or whether it's themselves. So that's a big deal. And the tech people are going to get the benefit, Stuart, of a lot of people are going to be leaving uh, yeah. in the consolidation on a lot of producers, directors. So, so there's going to be a big flow, and that's probably going to go to Amazon and Netflix and other people like that at Apple. Do, do, do you see any problem with big tech getting even bigger, even more powerful, you have a problem with that? Well, you know, um, I, I really don't because I think there's momentum here that we really don't want to be stopping. We can always go back and, and look at it later. That's sort of like what antitrust does after the fact. But uh, right now, they're getting into an area that uh, many, many of them aren't that familiar with. So it's not necessarily going to be that they're going to be wiping out other, other people. Uh, I want to change subjects entirely, Bob, because I, I remember you've been on this program before. Uh, your wife, Suzanne, died of pancreatic cancer, and you are the founder of the Suzanne Wright Foundation. When you were on this program previously, you told us that a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer was a 95%, basically a death sentence. Has that improved at all? No, no, it has not improved at all, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. We are, it's, uh, it is a death sentence, and um, there's no kidding around about it. It's an emergency. So we have come after a lot of effort uh, to a proposal which was brought to the White House. We have, it's, an, it's a bipartisan effort uh, to create a HARPA, a Health Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is a modeled after DARPA, which is the Department of Defense's Advanced Research Project Agency. DARPA has been one of the most successful ways to use technology and deal with very difficult subjects over the years. That's the, where the Internet came from. It's where GPS came from. It's where sonograms came from. Uh, it is an endless loose night vision, stealth vision. The, applying those same techniques to medical care, to, if, to medical breakthroughs, uh, and putting it inside of Health and Human Resources as, a, as an independent entity, I think it's a home run. I don't know really why it wasn't done 15 or 20 years ago. I suspect there was a lot of pushback from the NIH thinking it's a competitor, but it's not a competitor. Mm -hmm. It uses the resources that the government has already invested in, in basic research, either National Science Foundation and uh, the NIH, and we've got the people lined up to do it. Um, it's just, uh, Get it done, I think Bob. we could make a, a huge change. Get I want to say done. one thing, yep. that one thing that, uh, because I know it, uh, this is about the tax bill. I, I, people don't understand that as a result of this, uh, we're going to decrease by 50 percent the number of people that itemize uh, deductions. And we're going to end up the situation this year, 85 percent of the people that are filing tax returns are going to be doing it because it, without uh, any deductions, it will, be a sim it will be a simple piece of paper. That is exactly what the president was harping about for a long time, and it's, that's mm. what it's going to be. The other 15 percent, which include me and you and a bunch of other people, okay. will have to figure out what we can do. And it may, not be so, it may not be so attractive for us. We'll get a lower rate, but we won't have the deductions that we've had in the past. But we... eight, 75 percent of households will, will get a simple piece of paper. Okay, that's good news. Yeah. All good stuff. Hey, Bob Wright, you're all right. Um, and we're both going to move to Florida. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Bob Wright. You are a good you're, man. Fine you're man. welcome. Thank well, you, Well, thank sir. you for it. And I need to move forward at my program, and I'm hoping it to will. get strong support in the White House. Yes, thank sir. you. Good man. Thank you.